ATTs, welcome back to the channel. Now let's go ahead and get into the fact that rapper slash former city girl may have lied to us. Young Miami may have lied to us about her dealings with Diddy. Now recently, Young Miami did do an interview with Revolt on her show, Carisha Please. And she said that she is done with Puff Daddy. She said she's done with Diddy, but fans literally decided to call her Cap. And they decided to point out a big indicator that yes, most likely you are still dealing with Diddy. We know in its shows, okay? You ain't playing with none of us but she definitely tried to play in our face and i don't think that's right but let's go ahead and get into some of the other things that i noticed that was very wonky about this interview that she did on her show carisha please with her best friend saucy santana now yes young miami's recent interview on her show carisha please had diddy written all over it now at one point it did seem like her friend saucy santana is in cahoots with her and diddy as well because instead of him just asking her questions it definitely seemed like he was answering the questions at the same time and I'm like hold on why are you not letting her answer like you're basically telling her what to say and I don't even know if people actually noticed that like one of his questions was why didn't you speak out and say anything when the Cassie lawsuit came out and when all of these people were speaking out about Diddy and following these lawsuits against Diddy and he also said within that same breath he was like a lot of these things that people say about him you didn't experience when you were dating him that's not something that you saw so is that the reason why you didn't say anything I'm just like hold on wait that's not even something that she directly told us and I understand that Saucy Santana and Carisha are friends probably most likely they talked about things behind the scenes but he should have let her say that first and this is also a reason why I don't know about anyone else me specifically I would have wanted Carisha to do this interview on another platform instead of Carisha please with revolt because like I said I feel like this was something that young Miami and Diddy and his team and Saucy Santana all set up to clear Diddy's name and I feel like they got paid for it as well I mean obviously they did and obviously they are going to still get paid from it from all the views that it gets. Also, another example of Saucy Santana seemingly doing this, he was like, I know you were in a DV relationship before. Did he ever put his hands on you? Because I know that's not something that you tolerate. And then Young Miami literally answers the question. She doesn't directly say no. She says the same word tolerate, just like Saucy Santana said. And she's like, that's something that I don't tolerate, especially since I have a baby girl. I promised myself since I dealt with that in the past that I will not deal with that again. And this is why I feel like Diddy's name was written all over this interview because I feel like Young Miami was barely answering the questions. She answered them, but the answers were not direct. They weren't as direct as they should be. And if you really listen, Saucy Santana is answering most of her questions, especially when it comes to Diddy, and I wonder why. Plus, the Diddy questions were not even that deep. Like, they're not as deep as they could be. Now, also with her saying that Diddy didn't put his hands on her and answering that question, I really didn't understand that question because I I mean we know that he put his hands on Cassie that's for sure we've seen the surveillance video so I didn't see why it was necessary to ask young Miami that question even though there was reports that were put out a few months ago that he actually did put his hands on young Miami but I will say this male or female no matter who you are patterns that you show in your past relationships always cross over to your next relationship especially especially 100% if you haven't healed and him not wanting to settle down with young Miami and lock things down him wanting to date other women you know showed that he wasn't healed from Cassie also another clue is that the fact that he decided to shout Cassie out during the BET awards instead of the woman who was literally there holding up a sign for him which was young Miami y'all remember that showed that Diddy just wasn't healed so we cannot say that Diddy was not repeating the same toxic patterns that he had in his 10-year relationship with Cassie along to his relationship with young Miami I mean we just knew I mean, I mean, we just cannot, I mean, we just cannot believe that. Now, granted, these two did have a friendship, but they were intimate at the same time. So we can believe that he was repeating some of those toxic traits because he hadn't completely healed. Now, let's go ahead and get into the major big key that fans recently pointed out, showing that Young Miami, 100%, girl, you played in our face. Yes, you are still dealing with Diddy. Now, Young Miami is wearing a shark tooth necklace during this interview, and a lot of people didn't notice this, but somebody pointed it out, and shout out to that person and a lot of the fans who decided to point this out now whose shark tooth necklace does this seem to be this seems to be Diddy's now literally everyone every woman who had involvements with Diddy was wearing the same shark tooth necklace Kim Porter 
Cassie, J-Lo and her Love Don't Cost a Thing video, which she actually decided to take that necklace off and she threw it away because she was showing that she was done with Diddy and now seemingly Young Miami. This is what someone decided to write onto their Facebook. They said, Carisha wearing that necklace, Cassie was wearing that necklace, J-Lo also used to wear that necklace and emphasized removing it with her Diddy breakup song. Can't tell me Carisha is not still in cahoots with that man, I'm sorry. That's his signature piece with them ladies. Interview was cap AF. And that's what's really disappointing and gets a lot of us heated because it's like, why did you have to come on this interview and lie to us? I mean, you could have held this off. And then this person also says, update, Kim had a similar necklace too. And the sad thing is, and the sad thing that Young Miami doesn't really understand or realize is that no matter how much she tries to hide the fact that she's dealing with Diddy, no matter how much she's trying to be smart and strategic with her moves, Diddy is literally thinking two times faster than her. And that's not to be shady. Literally at this point, it's just the truth. And he seems like he's dedicated to constantly embarrassing her. And it seems like she's being oblivious to it. Like for example, the whole golden showers incident, obviously, that's something that we heard that Diddy likes, not Young Miami, but then Young Miami gets on her show, Carisha Please, and she's like, oh yeah, I actually like golden showers. And that's something that people like to use against her in arguments and something that I've heard people saying against her because they're like, girl, bye. Nobody wants to hear from you, girl, be quiet because you like to get pissed on. Okay, nobody wants to hear from the girl who's literally speaking on interviews and saying that she likes to get pissed on. But then you guys remember when that surveillance video came out of Cassie and Diddy, she decided to retract her statement and she's like, oh yeah, actually I was playing around. I do not like golden showers. And it's just like young Miami, we know. But why did you allow this man to convince you to get on this interview publicly and say that you actually do like them? Like what was the reason? Like you already said it and people are not going to let it go and yes i believe it was dj academics who was constantly using it against her so it's just like uh it's crazy child her also wearing this shark tooth necklace is also humiliation as well like she's saying that her and diddy are no longer together but her outfit completely says something different and this is why j-lo did what she did in her love don't cost a thing video she decided to throw that necklace off her showing that she was done with diddy but also her song lyrics was her love don't cost a thing she was letting it be known that you cannot buy me and when you let a man or anybody know that they can buy you they will definitely try to embarrass you do anything that they can play on your name play on your top i'm gonna go ahead and humiliate you and do whatever i want to you because i know as long as i'm spending that bread as long as i'm spending that money on you you're gonna do whatever i tell you whatever i want you to do which is not cool okay now i did see someone in the comment section while i was watching this interview and they said blaming carisha for diddy's disgusting behavior is crazy and i want people to understand that nobody's necessarily blaming young miami but we do understand that young miami is a grown woman and you have to watch who you have connections with i mean of course there was some things that was being said about young miami within these lawsuits as well there was other people who were associated with diddy who nobody really looked at funny or crazy but we looked at young miami some type of way because we knew at the time she was always with diddy so we knew that young miami had to see something like there's no way that you're always with this man you're always spotted out with this man and you haven't seen anything that he's been doing that people are alleging that he had been doing despite him and cassie's relationship and situation of course we know that she knew nothing about that she came after cassie but everything that was put out in the media after that while she was with diddy we just knew that young miami had to see something and it was being said that she was in cahoots with diddy helping him do some of the fraudish illegal crazy stuff that he was doing but we don't know if that's true okay now let's go ahead and move on to jt and young miami since we're already on young miami yes the city girls as we know it now i seen somebody post this they said young miami and jt really let the ninjas the fame and social media ruin their dope ass friendship will forever make me sad okay now the video that was attached was a video of young miami and jt celebrating jt's birthday after her getting out of jail now you guys know that this was was years ago now i do believe that this is true and we're gonna go ahead and prove why okay now starting off with the ninjas okay now does anybody else remember when Lil uzi vert was disrespectfully talking to young miami on live and jt was letting it happen let's go ahead and get into that video oh what's popping what's up creature somebody want to talk to you okay come on 
Can I see that phone, please? Is this Carisha? Is this Carisha? Yes or no? Come on, because I already was in the DM. Is this Carisha? <laughs> Bro, stop playing me for embarrassment. Is this Carisha? Baby, your woman is saying I don't see you on the um. You know, you know my whole body and soul, and you know I'm, I'm nothing. So listen, is this Carisha? Oh, he mean you don't have to be friends. I don't that's, care, that's Carisha, 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 Carisha. That's understood. Carisha, 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 it ain't even about that, cause you know me. I ain't never gotta see you, just like you ain't never gotta see me. Ozzy, what it you ain't about, say? I'm about to say it. Shut, just, right let right me right. let me get my whole speech out, cause you know I don't do this. Okay? Yeah, I do. It's me. Look at my car. Look at my life. I do way too much. <laughs> so anyway, Carisha. Um. And. JT told me, she like, Uzi, you ain't gonna do nothing, make it worse, so don't say nothing. But you know, clearly I run it. And this is my, every, mine. So it's just like, okay. Carisha, shut up. Uh, JT, 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 JT. If I tell you, if I told you tongue kiss me on this live right now, you gonna do it. Okay, would well, you say So just say chill. Like, hey. <laughs> you saw what I said to you, Carisha, because you left me on scene. Yeah, because it's like it's understood. I you right, not I, friends, I, I, and we don't have to be friends. That's it. Right, and I, about that, Carisha, you already. I told you, you know, I ain't gonna say it on live. But I already told you what be wrong with me. Everybody know what be wrong with me. You don't know me like this. Yeah, so but you exactly. I I never did nothing to you. This your second. No, time you didn't know. You see what I said. You this see, you saw the. You saw what time. I said. So oh, at well. this point, at this point, it's just and like it's my okay. last. And, and look, and it's my last time. Like whether you like it or not, it's my last time. I would never do you like that. I'd never ever do you like that. That's not even in me. Like, I won't do you like that. What you do to me? Like, what you did to me? Honestly, tell me what you did to me. All right, me. baby, I see what you want. Relax. What, what you want. Now, of course, a lot of us feel like JT allowed that to happen. And a lot of people were like, JT, why are you allowing your man to talk to your best friend in that manner? But hearing the way that Uzi was talking to JT, it really doesn't seem like she had a say so. OK, and knowing that JT and Lil Uzi Vert are in love with each other and they're not going anywhere. I mean, obviously, Lil Uzi Vert did not like Young Miami and Young Miami did not like Lil Uzi Vert. And when he said on this live, he said, this is my everything. It automatically gave off to me controlling vibes. <laughs> I got him. All right, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Uzi for real. Come on, no, I ain't gonna lie. So yes, it does seem like Lil Uzi Vert did play a part in JT distancing herself from Carisha because of the relationship with Uzi. Now the fame and social media, well, that's a given. It's so hard to really be a group unless you stay away from the negativity and fans pinning you guys against each other or pinning you against your other group member, which is almost impossible. Now fans did start to put Young Miami and JT against each other. I mean, they were even doing it when JT was like, Locked up saying that they can tell that JT was the glue and she had the real talent in the group and it is messed up to tell JT that she had more talent than young Miami but y'all know that social media is going to be social media now for a while I will give it to JT because she did ignore it but after the group ended because of low sales and JT went solo I really think that everything started to get to her head the fame started to get to her head like JT is really a great artist I won't lie but her and young Miami's friendship could have been handled differently especially when it came to the Twitter fight that they recently had this year I mean even Beyonce Kelly and Michelle didn't work out and they split ways and I feel like that's bound to happen and that's okay but the least that you can do is stay cool with your band member because this is somebody who you grew with you grew famous with y'all have memories together so why just decide to abruptly end that friendship because of social media because of dudes because of engines and because of the fame I don't ever feel like it's good hopefully one day they will reunite and be cool if it was really real but if it wasn't real maybe it's best for these two to stay away from each other what do you think about young miami allegedly seemingly playing in our face and telling us on this interview that she's done with diddy when she decided to wear this shark tooth necklace showing that she's still dealing with diddy honestly like i said i really feel like diddy put her up to that and told her look nobody will notice and then people ended up noticing and guess who it's embarrassing it's embarrassing young miami unfortunately what do you think about jt and young miami ending their group and not really talking like that and carisha opening up and saying yeah we don't really speak like that but mm, i guess they're not on bad terms y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section once again thank you for watching room for tea make sure you like comment subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys in my next video have a blessed rest of your night